From Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 5.30 starts now. We, the jury, find unanimously that the defendant did not cause the death of Botham John while under the immediate influence of sudden passion arising from an adequate cause and assess the defendant's punishment at 10 years imprisonment. Lots of emotion from both sides of the courtroom today as a verdict came down in the Amber Geiger murder case. The jury voted unanimously to sentence the former Dallas police officer to 10 years in prison. Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Terrell. And I'm Kevin Kelly. Before today's sentence was handed down, family and friends of both of Jean and Amber Geiger took the stand. Fox News correspondent Casey Stiegel at the courthouse with more. The former Dallas cop convicted of murder for fatally shooting another tenant in her apartment building learns her fate for the 2018 killing of her upstairs neighbor, Botham Jean, an unarmed black man. Geiger had mistakenly entered his apartment thinking it was her own and fired at Jean thinking he was a burglar, according to her testimony. We're gonna rise up against the system and we're gonna fight for our rights, okay? We are tired of being treated like animals and that we do not matter, but today it is a new day in Dallas. On Wednesday, Geiger's mother told the court how her daughter was molested at age six. Coming out of the bedroom and the Amber came out. Praise for Geiger's character mixed in with sorrow from both of Jean's teary-eyed father. Bertram, you said that Sundays are not good for you anymore. Because I'm not hearing his voice. You indicated to me in the past that you can't listen to videos that can sing. I'm still not ready for it. It hurts me. This is not there. During this trial, Amber Geiger insisted the shooting was not about hate, but rather a fear that she was going to be attacked. That's the latest from the courthouse in Dallas. Casey Stiegel, Fox News. After the sentence was read, chance of no justice, no peace broke out in the hallway. And John's family remained in the courtroom after the decision.